Welcome to our short introduction video, Stages for ASPICE. Before we start our Stages demo, here's a quick overview of the things we'll talk about today. Our demo starts with a software engineering standard process, which will be mapped to the ASPICE 3.1 reference model. Let's say we want to start a development project. We can then use the standard process as a template. Easily tailor this template to your project. The ASPICE compliance mapping is retained, and for an assessment, we can generate the compliance report with just a few clicks. The assessor is satisfied and happy. So, how do we do that in stages? It's easy. It takes just one click to get to the standard process. Let's have a look at the workflow software requirements analysis. Here you can see all the relevant activities of requirement management. This is a good starting point for compliance mapping. To do this, we go to the Management area, select Compliance, and then the ASPICE 3.1 reference model. As you can see, our software engineering process and the ASPICE reference model are both opened. Matching our previously shown workflow, we select the Software Requirements Analysis process for our mapping. The first base practice refers to the requirement specification activity. The activity can be searched for and added. The corresponding work product can be added as well. The mapping can now be rated. Ask yourself, how well do the added elements fulfill the base practice? For this example, we set the rating to complete. The rating system matches the usual assessment systems. Leave a comment to justify your rating as needed. How can I see the mapping in the standard process itself? Good question. Just click on the activity you added to go straight back to the standard process. ASPICE assessments, however, are carried out on a project level and not on a general standard process. How do Stages help with that? That's actually one of Stages' strengths. You can derive a project from the standard process. We've prepared the instantiation for our project A. The compliance mapping is applied automatically. Click on the respective workflow and select the previously mapped activity to see the corresponding base practice as referenced in ASPICE 3.1. That's great! This means that basically nothing can go wrong in the project assessment. If you need a better overview, generate a compliance report. Let's see what we've already mapped for ASPICE. Here you can see all referenced elements. The previously added activity and its work product are listed at the top. Exactly. You can also export this overview and hand the document to the assessor. Available formats are PDF, Excel or Word file. Let's have a look and see whether the software requirements actually exist as a document. Follow the link to the work product. In viewer mode, you can find the actual ALM or Content Management System documents along with the versions or states as defined by the corresponding system. And that's the end of today's introduction video, Stages for ASPICE. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed our quick overview. Do you have further questions? Please feel free to contact us.